45. Foreman oh. is gobbled up, and what a hit, a fumble, and Big Jones had racked him. The Cowboys seem to think that they have recovered, and now it is made official. It's oh, a, what a hit by Jones. Did. Behind the quarterback, let's take a look. Look at it. Oh, brother. Yes, sir. Robert Miller had to block on him that time. It wasn't yay, he beat it all. Just a good, solid inside rush that time. Gambled and gambled right. Then it would be the second fumble recovery by Harvey Martin, who recovered six feet nine. Too tall Jones, who made that savage hit on Chuck Foreman. Too tall, tall sitting down. I'll tell you what, when he is sitting down, he's too tall to take the down and ten. I'd say he likes to win. It's batted out and intercepted. Jones has knocked down a pass. You're going to see as he comes around, and then Jeff Coat comes up inside, and he comes behind Sims. Now, now there's the play. Now here comes Jeff Coat in the bottom left. Now up top, you see Jones coming inside. He gets that big right hand in there. Then Jeff Coat comes up inside, picks it up, then lumbers down the field. Look at that. Look at the stride on this guy. Half time, Dallas 20, Washington nothing. Again, Heisman has to go up side, side, and hit line. Jones at the same time and Gene Fugit. Number seven, the quarterback, he's setting up. Randy White's after him. Looks like Ed Jones might have hit him right in the rib cage. 6'9, 265 pound Ed Too Tall Jones. The NFL's number one draft choice from Tennessee State. Like every number one, Jones was a marked man whose imposing talents came under the critical focus of many eyes. To fans, teammates, opponents, and press, Jones had to pass muster. Jones succeeded because raw ability counterbalanced inexperience, as his size, strength, and speed blotted out passing attacks. in his destructive wake and in